There's a kind of stalemate in the Ukrainian battlefield, but this could change as Ukraine is about to get its hands on Western tanks. The country is on its way to receive three types of Western main battle tanks. Abrams from the US, Challenger II from Britain, and Leopard II from Germany. 31 Abrams, 14 Challenger II, and 14 Leopard II have been committed by the US, Britain, and Germany respectively. While there are lots of debate on which one is the best, there are some aspects due to which Leopard 2 has been really sought after by the besieged nation. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why Leopard 2 is best suited for Ukraine. Let's get started. Leopard 2 has been exported to many European nations. There are a significant number of Leopard 2 tanks from several countries that could be swiftly transferred. In a note published in September, the European Council on Foreign Relations called on Western nations to support a plan to send Leopard 2 to Ukraine, saying that the more that countries donate tanks, the easier it will be to share the burden of giving them away. Poland welcomed the German decision to allow the transfer of Leopard 2 tanks to Ukraine, with the Polish government reportedly preparing to transfer 14 Leopards to Ukraine from a total Polish stock of 250. Reuters reported a spokesperson for German arms group Rhein Metall told local media that the company could deliver 139 Leopard battle tanks to Ukraine if required so Ukraine could potentially get the German tanks from diverse sources. Importantly, rather than sending Ukraine tanks from its own stocks, as it's done with previous weapons, the US has said that it's buying the Abrams from the industry. The tanks are assembled at a government-owned General Dynamics operated plant in Lima, Ohio, and the facility can produce 12 tanks per month but the line is now full of new tank orders for Taiwan and Poland. Also to note here is that being near Ukraine and with a direct land connection, the logistical challenges of the transfer of Leopard 2 will be much less. So we can say that Leopard 2 has an advantage. Leopards 2 and Abrams uses the same Rheinmetall 120 mm L55 smoothbore gun that uses standard NATO 120 mm ammunition. This means that Ukraine will be able to access a large pool of suppliers to acquire the ammo. Uniquely among NATO main battle tank guns, the L30 A1 and Challenger 2 is rifled because the British Army continues to place a premium on the use of high explosive squash head HESH rounds, in addition to armor piercing, fin stabilizing, discarding Sabbat rounds. So, this tank cannot use standard NATO shells that use smoothbore guns. So, it's evident that Challenger 2 has a distinct disadvantage. Abrams is lethal, but brings in challenges for the user. Over the years, due to upgrades, the Abrams has gotten heavier. It's probably the heaviest tank currently operating at nearly 75 tons. This can restrict its mobility. For example, it may be too heavy to drive over some bridges. Abrams uses jet fuel, which is far more difficult to obtain compared to the diesel used by the Leopard 2 and Challenger 2. They also have complicated maintenance requirements and require specialized training. U.S. Army and U.S. Marine Corps are used to operating Abrams for a long time now, but for a new operator, it's not so easy. Under Secretary of Defense for Policy Colin Kahl told reporters that the Abrams is a complicated, expensive, difficult to maintain, and hard to train piece of equipment. One thing Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin has been very focused on, he said, is that we should not be providing the Ukrainians systems they can't repair, they can't sustain, or that they, over the long term, can't afford because it's not helpful. 
Abrams are being sent in spite of all of these so as to set up precedents for other countries like Germany. Subscribe for more videos like this, hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.